Halloween may be over, but the costume choices this year from both Justin Trudeau and Pierre Polyev have gone viral. Are they too far or is it just Halloween? Let's get into it. Oh, yeah. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to The Fringe. Now, this video is going to be a little different because we have to beg the question, was Justin Trudeau's choice of photo ops for this year's Halloween a little too far, or um, are we just becoming way too sensitive uh, when it comes to uh, costume ideas? Now, I'm not a fan of Justin Trudeau, and I'm really not weighing in my opinion on this piece. I'm more discussing the... Um, sweeping viral posts that have come across since last night's uh, trick-or-treating festivities. Now, of course, I was out with my kids. I was having a good time. And then all of a sudden, my Twitter blew up with numerous posts of people accusing Justin Trudeau of being um, insensitive to world issues that were going on based on the choices of his child's Halloween costume. Now, I've faced some scrutiny when I said that I was going out with my kids dressed up. Um, I was told that, you know, unless you're going to a Halloween party, parents shouldn't be getting involved. Um, I'm not sure about everybody's neighborhoods. I don't know what you guys experience during Halloween, but uh, I will say that in our neck of the woods, I typically have about a 20 year standing tradition to go over to my parents' place so that they get to see the grandkids and the kids kind of go from house to house in that neighborhood. And the neighborhood tends to have bonfires in their driveways with, uh, I guess you could say, portable fire pits. Um, people sometimes give out alcohol to parents. And and kids, for the most part, have a great time. And, and, and the adults like to get in on everything and kind of make it a celebratory day instead of just, you know, strictly about go to the door, get your candy, and leave. Um, this year, I noticed numbers were a little smaller. I don't know what's going on if people are just banding to go to other neighborhoods that have big haunted housing events or, or what goes on. Uh, but, but as I'm walking around with my kids, people are always open to their opinions. People can always decide what's best for their families or what they think an appropriate age to stop trick or treating is, or, um, an appropriate time for people to stop dressing in costumes or, or doing certain things. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And, and, uh, one thing that again, wasn't, uh, too, uh, <laughs> unnoticed was the choice of Justin Trudeau's choice of costumes and photo ops with their child. Now, of course, this was the first tweet that I seen last night coming from Viva Fry, a uh, good friend of the channel. When there are stories confirmed or not of decapitated uh, infants in Israel with a uh, Terry attack, Maybe don't post a Halloween picture like this, you sick and sorry excuse for a human, Justin Trudeau. I repeatedly edited this tweet to remove expletives. Now, of course, if we click on the photo, you can see Justin Trudeau's son uh, doing some kind of uh, costume that their head is missing, they're holding their head as they walk around. I've seen numerous costumes like this where um, they have like the inflatable alien that's picking up like a child and the kid is in halfway through the costume to look like the child, even though they're in the alien suit. Um, this isn't anything new for a costume. I don't know what Justin Trudeau was dressed as. Um, if he was like a hitchhiker or this, he was just coming from um, a uh, uh, self-identifying bar, we'll say, where he's maybe looking for a new uh, relationship in his life. I don't know what's going on here in this photo. Uh, but but either way, the internet exploded with this. We've seen posts from folks like even Ezra Levant that blew out. Justin Trudeau dressed up his son as a child that was beheaded. Just stop and think about that. Um, now, Justin's post, of course, is down here where it wasn't really on Viva's. They just had the photo. Where it says, Hadrian seems to have misplaced something. But that's not going to stop him from trick-or-treating. Happy Halloween, everyone. Have fun out there. And, of course... We see photos of their family together. One thing that gets me, and it was mentioned in many tweets, is again, Justin Trudeau said, you know, I'm separating from my wife. We want privacy. And ever since then, uh, he's made no um, qualms with putting his children out there on social media for everybody to see, everybody to place their judgments. Um, but again, I guess, I guess as I go through the comments, um, because I'm trying to understand... Is this just a Halloween costume or, or are, um, 
it was this a shot at being insensitive to world views now there are ideas that have gone on we've seen this one from tim moen uh that kind of went semi-viral yesterday i know i posted this and uh that tweet caught fire where it shows tim moen uh dressed up as fidel castro of course with baby Trudeau. these again the humorous costume ideas um <laughs> where you can kind of get a glimpse of of people's you know softer sides people's more funnier sides but we go down here where pierre polyev again uh with western canada saying wait a minute did trudeau and polyev coordinate their costumes i can't wait for the ppc conspiracy theories now uh of course there's no beheaded people in pierre polyev's trope uh but he is carrying and brandishing an axe i'm assuming he's dressed up as a lumberjack um, I don't know if they're, uh, <laughs> what, what was going on in, in that it seems like these children are wearing similar jackets. So again, I don't know specifically the, the context of his costume, but we've seen what Trudeau does. Um, and again, it begs, it begs a lot of people were even saying after seeing Trudeau's picture that, well, Pierre Polyev's got an ax and, and he's insensitive too. And this is, again, we're going to go through some of these comments because I, I'm trying to wrap my head around where people stand on this. Now, Halloween, Halloween's typically a time where you do Dracula, you do werewolves, you do blood and gore. I've seen very graphic costumes over the years that, that depict one thing or another. Um, we always see teenage children especially trying to push the envelopes in terms of what's acceptable and what isn't. I know for numerous years, I found some of the most affordable Halloween costumes to be the ones where you put on liquid latex where it looks like a nail is maybe going through the side of your face or, uh, you know, the old Steve Martin gag of the knife through the head. Uh, again, I, I sometimes question, as a society, are we... Now, I'm not talking about this photo in, in particular, but I'm saying as a society, are we getting too sensitive on these issues? Are we not saying hey it's just halloween it's one day where this wasn't a jab at, at these things or is it uh again i don't put anything past trudeau because let's face it folks he's not the smartest of human beings but when you look at um the comment section this is where i really started to weigh in on what are, where do people stand on this issue uh as uh guyman adams says bro i hate trudeau too but this is the wrong thing to get so triggered about. It's just a random Halloween costume. Viva, of course, saying, thanks for the input. You're wrong. Another person saying, chill. Thanks for the advice. No. You know, uh, if Trudeau dressed as a convoy trucker, uh, or is Trudeau dressed as a convoy trucker, based. I get it. Trudeau is going as a Canadian. That's a very cool costume, says another person. You think it's possible his child picked his own costume and we should refrain from attacking that choice? Or do you really believe this is an international political statement? Is it just that we ought to be aware of the uh, the events and suggested that his child switch gears? Uh, which came first, the costume or the attacks? Just seems your anger is being used towards the child, not the adult who isn't savvy enough to care. Now, again, I, I don't know if it's really a matter of caring, you want your kids to have fun. You want your kids to enjoy Halloween. I know specifically, again, I, ladies and gentlemen, I am not making excuses here for Justin Trudeau. I'm speaking, trying to, again, understand what is good, what, what's right or what's wrong in this situation, I guess. Um, I certainly never try to tell people what to think on this channel, um, but I can say in my household that every year when we go out, whether it's to Spirit Halloween or... Uh, we take the kids down to Walmart if they have a costume there they want. My children always pick out their costume. They find something they want. Uh, whatever it is they're into that year. I know this year my kid wanted to do, uh, my son wanted to do like a Five Nights at Freddy's thing. Uh, because that's what him and his friends talk about at school. Um, my daughter was Wednesday Adams. I think every girl on this planet was Wednesday Adams this year. You know, people do all kinds of things based as, especially as children. And, and again, I just don't know where this is going. I don't know where to go with this. Uh, when you're rage farming so hard, uh, you're freaking out about a really ordinary Halloween costume and tying it to middle Eastern affairs. Uh, cat Canada chiming in saying Trudeau is a Hamas hole, just like many of his supporters. Uh, and again, a lot of people saying I'm down for hating on Trudeau. There's nothing wrong with the costume. I'm seeing that comment over and over. Now, as you go into Ezra Levant's 
comments. You know, the first one says it's just not, it's just it's just Halloween. Next person says, if that's not a message, I don't know what is. As much as I hate Trudeau, I think this one deserves a pass. Kids should be able to have fun. Let's not uh, let's not make it about the kids. They have zero control over what their dad does. Again, I don't understand what their dad has done besides take a photo with their kid. But um, another person saying, pick your battles, Ezra. Um, another person saying, great costume. To be honest, I still despise the guy, but not for this. Oh my gosh, uh, Trudeau is the worst man that I ever imagined. Horrible person. Well, I can agree with that, but again, not because of this photo. Um, he named his kid after a Roman emperor who didn't like, you know, certain religious people either. It seems a lot of, um, he's gone from blackface to this kind of costume for his son sicko i mean it, it goes kind of all over the map if we if we scroll down again it it went pretty viral a lot of people jumping on trudeau's back for what happened saying i'll be the devil here uh well this person says today's halloween this costume that his son is wearing is worthy of halloween this does not have anything to do with what's going on in the world we aren't like the left and get upset over everything are we i don't like trudeau but it is halloween and that is, again, I guess the point of this video is trying to ask, like, like, where do we as people put our hands up in the air and just say, guys, it's a day. It's one day. And, and not to not to excuse something. And I'm not excusing this. I guess I guess what I'm looking for, ladies and gentlemen, um, as we <laughs> try to wrap this video up, um, I wanted to talk about it because I wanted to get your opinion. I want you guys to sound off in the comments and let me know what you think. Um, I heard points made tonight, even as I was out with my children trick or treating it, again, this was blowing up all over social media. People were talking about it and, and there were opinions on both sides. And, uh, for me, again, I've said when it comes to the conflict going on in the middle East, I think Canada should keep its nose out of it. I think we should worry about Canada. Um, it, it, this war does not concern us. Um, we should just mind our own business for the time being. Um, <laughs> but when it comes to these things, I have to ask people, where do you stand? Where, where do you think this was? Was it inappropriate? Was it fair? Uh, let me know down below in the comments, what you guys think again, I'm not really throwing my hat into the ring. Cause I don't know what to make of this. I just couldn't believe that at one point it felt like people were grasping at straws to kind of pick a needle out of a haystack and find something to complain about. Well, I feel like other people are generally triggered and upset about it. So I really don't know where to stand, but if you do, let me know down below in the comments. If it's your first time here, I sure hope this video has earned your subscription. As you're hitting that button, make sure to hit your bell for notifications. Join us live here every Sunday on the channel where we do the weekly wrap and we go over everything that's happened in the past week, everything that's coming in the week ahead. And uh, I do Q&A with, uh, with my community. And then after the streams, we hang out my Discord. There is a link down below for the Discord. I urge you to uh, join the Discord and uh, join us after stream as we sit and chat and I listen to everything you guys want to talk about and kind of have an open forum where uh, we can kind of just shoot the breeze for an hour and, and have some fun as a community. So I hope to see you guys there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'll catch you on the next one.